Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you don't mind, subscribe. Yeah, I'm enjoying a cup of coffee, actually it's my second cup. Uh, not often I do two cups, but I, occasionally I do. And I guess you're wondering what I'm smiling about. Well, yesterday, I got a phone call from Opal which is the brand of phone that uh, if you've been following my videos I have a problem with my new phone and my Reno 8T 5G I think that's what it is which I I've been very happy with the Opal products been using them now for almost nine years I guess or thereabouts pretty close and this phone that uh, I'm using right now, it's six year old. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Uh, but anyway, Opal called me to inform me that my phone has been returned, repaired. I'm shocked. Because I was expecting, like, uh, the place I bought it at. They said the average turnaround is uh, around three months. I don't think it's been two weeks yet, has it? I don't think so. But anyway, they said it's repaired and it's returned. Well, hopefully I'll get to go pick it up today. Uh, I've got a few things i got to do before I can go. I would have went yesterday, but uh, as you all know, I've been having a small problem with my little man and I don't want to take a chance of overheating it and damaging the engine. Uh, the radiator is not, uh, the coolant is not circulating in it uh, like it should. And I actually have received a brand new radiator for the less money than a used one. You go figure that one. I looked around for a used one, just for curiosity. I, I wouldn't put a used radiator in my vehicle unless it just no choice. Anyway, I received the new one, and uh, I did order an, another thermostat and a new radiator cap to go along with it. Uh, for a grand total, it was shipping and everything for 6,800 pesos. That's roughly $120. I figured it's going to cost me at least another $30 to have them come here and install the radiator. Uh, they would do it at their own shop, but I inquired about uh, if they had a water hose. Uh, so they could flush the block out of any impurities. Uh, they don't have it. So they're going to come to my house and do it. And uh, we will flush my block out. Uh, I've got some flush coming also. Uh, it'll be here today. Uh, hopefully by the time they get the radiator removed and so forth, <coughs> uh, the, the delivery be out. <coughs> you know, I have used the um, solution for flushing uh, to get as much out as possible. Uh, get that all taken care of. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully everything goes smoothly. Then I'll head to San Carlos, go get my phone. And there's a lot going on today. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, the guys will be here working, uh, doing the uh, rear uh, patio, as I would call it, uh, putting the uh, metal on, and finish welding and so forth. Then they'll start with the concrete uh, around the perimeter. Got my little storage room finished. Uh, if I get time, I'm going to get my phone back. The uh, reason I haven't done a video of this in here, I have to be really close before it will pick up 
my voice. And then I have to do an edit and increase the volume. And still, I'm not satisfied with it. So just bear with me. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and I'll be back with my other phone and be using my mic, wireless mic. And uh, I'll try to do some videos of the work in progress and so forth, give you an update on everything. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got two solar lights uh, that probably will be installed today. That will give me a total of about one, two, three, four, or five. It'll give me a total of seven lights on the perimeter of the house that uh, I don't have to worry about uh, when there's no electricity. And, uh, I got one of them here. Give me an idea. They come in a box like this. Let's see if I can get it out of the box to give you an idea of what it looks like. And it's a pretty good size light, as you can see. <laughs> and these, they do, you know, all these lights, they come with remote control. And personally, <clears throat> to me, it's just a waste. Because I will set it to the automatic mode, and that's the end of it. And they come with a decent sized panel, as you can see. So, I think these are about, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're 15 watt panels. Seems like I remember seeing that somewhere. Which is not a lot of wattage uh, for a solar panel. But it's enough to charge. Uh, the lights <clears throat> for overnight use. Uh, my lights are all doing good out there. <clears throat> but things should be looking up, hopefully. I, I tell you, I'm not good. <laughs> Since I started this house project, I'm not getting any breaks. <laughs> And hopefully we can get this wrapped up and get back to a routine that, uh, and replenish my funds. Uh, then you're getting tight. <laughs> but it's okay. It's, it's a good investment. I'm doing this, uh, all this renovation work to, uh, it's all for grace and virtual. I wanted things to be in good shape uh, for them, uh, be less uh, maintenance to do. I'm hoping the, my choice on the Hardy Flex uh, is correct. Um, get this maintenance down. I was so disappointed with the plywood, as y'all are well aware of. And I've uh, I've been watching some videos of other foreigners that have used plywood. And I've noticed around their house that their plywood is doing the same thing. I've even seen where they've done some patchwork and replacing some of it. Similar to what I've experienced. And hopefully I'll eliminate that problem. <laughs> anyway, folks. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I thank you so much for spending time with me and <clears throat> lending that ear out. But this is daily life, and we'll get some more going. Thanks again, and don't forget to subscribe.